This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Just quick reminder, if you want to use the table that I'm using in this tutorial, go to the my web shop that you can find in the description, go to the shop and here you will find the table and you can apply the coupon code to get it for free. So here I already have it in the cart, I will go to checkout and I will apply the coupon YouTube viewer here, YouTube viewer and you will get it for free or you can support my channel. Uh, that's all and let's continue with tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, unusual tutorial series. I bet there is no other roulette series on YouTube about uh, Unreal Engine, so I'm gonna create one. So you're all familiar probably with the game called Buckshot Roulette. Uh, We're gonna do something similar to that. So I will show you how the code is done in this game. So. For the first episode we're just gonna do project setup and from the second one we're gonna start uh, using the things that we prepare. Okay, so I'm gonna create blank project and uh, I can just leave it as this and call the project roulette YouTube and I can press create. Okay, now when it's loaded, we can go ahead and first off, I'm gonna create a new level in the file. So, new level. And I'm gonna create a empty level. We can go to file, say current level as, and call it gameplay. Just like that. Okay. So, from here, what I want to do is, I want to create a blueprint class, it's going to be character and it's going to be player character. Then I'm planning to make this game a single player, so I'm going to select the game mode base and call it gameplay game mode. So in the gameplay we're going to set up all the rules for the game. Okay. Then I'm going to need player controller, it's going to be gameplay player controller. And also I'm going to be needing game instance. Let's call it main game instance. Now let's head over to edit, project settings, map and modes. And now let's set our main game instance here. And let's set the gameplay level to be starting, just like that. So now that we created this, let's go ahead and go into the details, world settings, sorry. If you don't have world settings, just go into the window and find the world settings like here. So the game mode is going to be gameplay game mode. Default pawn class is going to be player character, sorry, not pawn, player character, and player controller is gonna be gameplay player controller. So we have that set up. I prepared some files for you. So first I made a roulette table, so let's make a folder and call it props. And let's call this table. And inside of that we can go ahead and bring our roulette table that I made in Blender. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link for this in the description, so don't worry. Then, when I did that, I wanna create new folder, call it Sounds. Inside of the Sounds, you can find the gunshot and just drag it in. And also, you will find the shotgun sounds as well. And let's just drag everything because we don't know when will we need it. So uh, this, let me see, it's mp3. So um, this will need to be to .wav 
and I'm gonna do it. So uh, I'll just do it um, after the tutorial. So you're gonna have it here, and I'm gonna just upload it in the next series. Okay. So you you will be able to use this because I will delete this and get the correct file before I upload this video. And we have a shotgun. So go to props, new folder, call it shotgun, open it, and now and now just get uh, those two files. So per source, we can go ahead and implement it. Port like that. Now we have shotgun, but we need the uh, textures. So we can go to textures and we can copy all of this here. So from all of this, what we can do is right click and create material. Uh, sorry, not like that. We can just right click, create material, call it shotgun. And now if you look here, so wait, um, like that. We can control space, get our shotgun, pull it in, and now we have uh, multiple uh, options here. And the simplest way for you, if you don't know uh, how to deal with materials, is just go to folder and, okay, so this is default color, pull RGB into the base color, um, this is default, default metallic, so pull it into the metallic, uh, this is uh, ambient occlusion, <coughs> so it's gonna be this one. This is normal. You can uh, mostly identify normal by the blue color they have, and this is roughness. Like that. Apply, and now um, you can open your mesh and give her, her a look. So this is the shotgun I got on the sketchfab. Looks good. I would also, for this game, I would delete the roughness and I would put the roughness to be, so uh, hold one, left click, and set, uh, no actually not the roughness, sorry. Uh, I will change both metallic and roughness and I will give the value to roughness one and metallic zero because I want to create a game where there is no much metallic stuff, so it's not shiny, because I plan to add some post effects later on as well. So if we bring our gun here. As you can see, we have a gun. Like that. Okay, so we have everything ready uh, to start with the tutorial. So I will end the uh, episode here, and in the next episode, we're gonna add the sounds that we are missing, and um, we're gonna start coding our game. So, see you in the next episode.